storms are headed our way that could be just as destructive. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, damage reports are now coming in all across our area of downed trees and power lines and also damage to homes and blocked roads. Well, first, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. So, Tara, these storms will roll in very early tomorrow morning. That's right. So after midnight tonight, we're going to start to see that second round rolling into the mountains and foothills first and then overspreading more of the Charlotte Metro and including Gaston County and points east as we head through time. First of all, let's take a look at all of the damage and storm reports that we had from earlier today. Most of those that wind damage with the trees and power lines down and a lot of those boxes as you see there concentrated over Gaston and Cleveland County scattered around the Charlotte Metro and points east and down to sections of South Carolina. A couple reports of some pea or nickel sized tail as well. Again, right now it's a mostly dry scan around the region. Things have settled down, but look at all the stormy weather back off to the west. All the red boxes showing up where we have still several tornado warnings over sections of middle and eastern Tennessee down into northern Alabama and possibly into north Georgia. That yellow that you see there, that's where we have a tornado watch in effect. That does include the far southwestern corner of the state going into the night up until about midnight or so, but it's after after midnight, and I put kind of the timeline on this here, we'll start to see some of that stormy weather by one o'clock in the morning heading into our North Carolina mountain communities as all of that is advancing off to the east. The severe threats will continue to be just what we've saw, what we've seen earlier today and what we did see. Uh, the sizable hail, damaging wind gusts will be the two main threats, a lower risk of a brief spin-up tornado, but it can't be totally ruled out. Let's check out future radar. So here we are about one to two o'clock in the morning. We'll start to see some of that that rain spreading in, covering more of the Charlotte Metro, torrential rain, maybe some strong gusty wind by four o'clock in the morning or so, and then it starts to push off to the east as we approach sunrise.